Right, so to, thank you for watching my video today. Uh, I'm going to be unboxing my eye candy strawberry push chair. I've got the peach one, uh, but I fancied a change, and with my son growing up a bit older as well, um, it just seemed like a better option. Um, bought it online for my eye candy. had um, a special offer on, so I thought I would um, grab that opportunity and buy it. Um, so here we have the eye candy strawberry flavour pack which is the hood um, and hopefully if we can get in this it's quite hard to get into but, um, we can have a look at this and see the actual colour because it's quite hard to see it um, online you don't get a true picture of it really. so this is the flavour pack um, we just open now, and um, if you see, we've got the um, liner, elderberry it is, I think, strawberry, yeah, elderberry, and you've got the um, crotch and chest pads there, um, and then you've got the hook here, for the eye candy strawberry which you can see has got the nice eye candy strawberry tag there and it's also got writing at the other side it's uh, quite a velvety material actually um, I've never actually seen an eye candy strawberry before not close up anyway I think we've seen a few out and about um, I've actually got a peach one I've got the uh, sweet pea and I've also got the world um, special edition this is the parasol, the eye candy parasol, and that's got the um, the attachment on it. <laughs> I'll just put this up now and see it. It's quite easy to put up, and there you go, the eye candy infamous eye candy logo, which I think a lot of people know about. Well, people who are into prams like me. Um, this is the clamp for the um, parasol and see it in there. It's all nicely packaged in little boxes um, so you know exactly what you're opening and that will go on the side of the pram. What's this now? Ah right, these are the um, car seat adapters which I won't be needing. Um, <coughs> because my son is one now but if you were having a newborn baby um, you would need those to clip on and then you could clip the car seat onto the um, frame um, you can also get the carry cloth as well for the eye candy strawberry uh, which obviously I will not be needing because little Oscar is already one so he won't be needing that then we have the bag, the elderberry changing bag, which again is in that nice colour. It's very big, a very big bag. Um, let's just get rid of this. Bag. Uh, let's just open it up and see. Alright, so it's got, ah, got a little bag there to put your wipes into. Um, I presume this is a change in that. Okay. Uh, and the strap as well to make it longer. Yes, that's a change in that. Um, ah, and that's handy. A bottle, bottle holder. And then you've got a zip, a zip up pocket there. So you've got little compartment um, that's quite a stylish bag I would uh, not be embarrassed to go out with that and you've got the eye candy logo and the zip so that's very nice so you've got the bag you've got the bag strap to make it longer you've got the bottle bag you've got the white bag you've got the elderberry changing mat You've got the car seat adapters, 
and we've got the parasol which is really nice for nice sunny days which hopefully we're going to get quite soon you've got the hood with the nice eye candy logo on each side and then the eye candy tag and then you've got the seat liner which is nice and then you've got the crotch and the little things there so all in all there's the accessory pack so that did come as a package with the frame um, so we're now going to look at the actual pram and the frame um, and see if we can attach all these all these objects we've done the accessories um, so now it's time to open up the pram and uh, see if we can get it sorted hopefully without instructions um, because I'm not that keen on instructions I must say. Yeah. so that's the rain cover the yeah, icon the rain cover just pop that on there for now um, and then we've got the instruction book we better get out just in case I'm hoping though because I've had quite a few plans that's the instruction manual that because I've had quite a few plans be quite self-explanatory those look like the uh, attachments for the wheel Okay, so it looks like it's going to have to come out as well. Be very careful. Don't want any scratches on the new pram. Okay, so it's looking like two of the wheels are already attached. And we're going to have to come out. We've packaged very well. Um, plenty of the uh, bubble wrap which is good because we don't want to take any scratches because I can be the pro and I'm quite renowned for um, scratching so I, I try and look after it as best I can because I can do hold their money um, particularly the peaches but I'm not sure about these really because I've never tried to sell one so that's the um, the hand bar. Okay. So this is the seat part. So we'll just pop that there for now. It's very different from my peach. Like I say, I've had quite a few peaches, and it's very different. Um, so hopefully, I'll get used to this one. I think you get used to a certain pram. Um, I have kept one of my peaches and I've got rid of one of them. Um, I can't let go of that other one. <laughs> so it's all nice to package, all on the chrome, you've got the bubble wrap to protect it. So now we need to put the wheels on. Up. So these, these look really easy actually, these are very similar to the peach um, on the strawberry, the wheels, brand new wheels obviously, so if you just pop this into there, it goes in quite nicely and then you're just going to pop that on and that's one wheel attached, so you turn it over, it feels quite light as well this pan, so if we get the other one um, and pop this wheel on again chop it through that's both wheels on uh -huh. so now I think all we need to do is lift it up It and then it's just clipped into place. Just get rid of all this bubble wrap. Like I said, uh, I'm very used to peaches, but I've never actually even pushed a strawberry, so I took a bit of a risk. I think 
just because it was um, on sale and I thought, well, they look good. I've read a few reviews, um, which I will be doing a review on it as soon as I've taken it out. I'll just leave those on for now. Just So again, that handle is very similar to um, the peach. The handle is there and then you pull it back up to extend it. This is slightly different. There we go, so that's quite easy to put on. It just clipped on nicely. Um, and then I think you move that to recline it. So that's fully laid down. And then if you want to move it up, then you go to the next notch, move it down, sorry. And then that does like that it actually zips in as well which is quite nice so that means that it stays in it nicely um, and then you've got the hood which also zips in and then we'll see how that goes as well okay. yeah a bit fiddly to put together um, because of the hood and stuff but I, I think once you've got it up and running you only have to do it once apart from the, the beauty of this um, strawberry eye candy is that you can buy new flavour packs so and they have them in a variety of colours so if you get bored like me and you want a new pram you don't need to buy a new pram you can just buy a new colour so that's quite handy. So I just put this in there. Okay. So that's the hook clipped on, as you can see. Okay, so that's fully extended. And then push it back. I really like the colour, the elderberry colour. It's really nice. And like I said, the fact that you're able to swap the colour packs, packs around. And I suppose really you could mix and match as well. So if you've got two coordinating colours, you could have a different hood to the eyeliner, uh, the, uh, the liner. So that would be good. So now we've got that in place, nearly. Like I said, it is a bit fiddly to begin with, but once you've got it all on and in place, then it's fine because you don't need to do it again. Okay. And then you've got the harnesses, the five point harness. You've got the hood, which again has the strawberry eye candy logo there. And then the eye candy embroidered in. You've got the eye candy logo on the side of the chrome. You've got the basket under there, which has, it, that's it. Yes, it can go smaller, or it just extends. It's not as big as the peach basket, I don't think, um, which could be a problem for me with my shopping, but only time will tell. Um, so then again, you've got the handle, you push, pull, push the button in and it extends, push back and you've got it shorter. Again, on this side, you've got the eye candy logo. Um, the eye candy logo on the chrome again nice new shiny chrome um, again the chair if you see you can just if you just do do that you, it extends back obviously I'll have to do the other side to do that and then that can be a few different positions the wheels lovely and new um, I did read on some reviews that it's more of an urban pram um, because of the front wheels apparently you can get leaves clogged in them so but they fully rotate all the way around um, or you can lock them not sure how you lock them at the moment but there will be a way <laughs> of locking them um, <coughs> and then under here you've got the eye candy logo again 
so I've just got to try my son in it now so there you have the eye candy strawberry in elderberry um, and like I said you can um, <coughs> you can take the colour packs off and have new colours which is quite good for people like me who like to change their patterns all the time so there we have it the eye candy strawberry in elderberry very nice very attractive very good for walking around the shops yes I'm quite pleased with that thank you for watching and I shall be back with more reviews thank you